Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm sharing an updated version of what's in my travel bag. I'm gonna show you everything that I bring and how I keep it all organized. And I'd like to thank Adaro for sponsoring today's video. So if you've been following us for a while, you'll know that we love to travel together as a family. Sometimes it's short, quick trips to places like Disneyland, we love Disneyland and it doesn't matter how many times we've been there, it never gets old for us. Or it might be a long road trip to Utah and for us coming from California, that's like 13 hours. So it's not very easy, but we're always glad when we get there. And then most recently, we've started flying across country with all four kids to places like Georgia, which is such a beautiful part of the country. I really do feel like I've left a part of my heart in Georgia. And then of course, there was the ultimate family trip to Disney World last month, which I'm literally counting down the days until we go back. It was so fun. So like I said, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my new travel bag, AKA the mom bag. And in a future video, I'll share with you how I organize all of the kids' suitcases and carry-ons. Now here's the bag that I used to bring, which is actually a diaper bag. Because space is limited when we're traveling, I tried to combine my diaper bag items with my personal items as well, and it was not working out. So I went ahead and swapped it out for a new bag altogether. I found this one on Amazon, and I'll link it down below if you're curious. This one has quite a bit more space, and I really think that this bag is perfect for a working, traveling mom just like me. I like that this one's a backpack as well because it's important for me to be hands-free when I'm traveling with kids. And unlike my diaper bag, of course, I also love the purple color, and I like that this fabric is wipeable, so if anything gets spilled, I can easily clean it off. Another thing that's great is that this bag has lots of different compartments to keep everything organized. So that's the first new thing. And the other new thing is my Adaro. It's basically a system for organizing your things that can save time and reduce stress and help simplify busy lives. So basically, this system comes with Bluetooth-enabled tags that can communicate with one another through an easy-to-use app. So this is a smart tag. It's for your most important bags, whether that's your suitcase or your purse, or in my case, my travel bag. And then these are the taglets and I'm gonna put these on my most important items that go inside my bags, things that I would be really sad if I lost. This is essentially making my bag a smart bag. This system all comes together through the Adaro app where you can actually build your smart bags, you can track your tagged items, and you can create reminders to keep them all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my taglets on. I definitely wanna put a taglet on my computer I use this for editing videos all the time. Quite often when you go through security, they ask you to take your computer out. So by putting this on here, there's no chance I'm gonna leave it behind. I'm also gonna put a taglet on my charging station. This thing is super important. It charges my phone, my camera, and I have to admit, I have definitely lost a few of these in the past. So this taglet is gonna definitely make sure that doesn't happen again. And then I'm also gonna put a taglet on my computer's power plug because like I said, I use my computer all the time and it's no good if it's completely dead. Next, I'm gonna take my smart tag and I'm gonna add it to my backpack. And then all I have to do is press it. If the light turns green, that means all of my items are with my bag together. If the light turns red, that means one or more items are missing from my bag. I think that is pretty cool. And now on to the items. You guys, I am a notorious overpacker, but I say if I can keep everything organized and my bag's not too heavy, then that is fine. Now I've packed this bag for air travel, so everything is TSA approved, but if I was traveling by car, I would bring the exact same items. In this first pocket, I have my wallet. It's somewhere secure but handy, so I can get my ID out when I need it. And then the only other thing I have in here is a scarf. Quite often when I'm traveling, I end up getting really cold, so this comes in handy. Now this next compartment is where I keep my snacks, and I usually just bring a couple of things. So my go-to snacks now are some beef jerky sticks. I really like the peach barbecue flavored ones. And I also have some mint gum in there. And then of course, I also have a sweet treat in there. These are the Dove cashews. They are excellent. In this side pocket is where I keep my water bottle. 
Of course, I love this one because it's pink. I found it at Target, and I'll just keep it empty until I get through security, and then I'll fill it up. Now this next compartment is where I keep all of my bags. I use several smaller bags to keep like items together. And this section also has an area to keep pens and pencils. I definitely like to travel with those. The trick is to not hand these over to my kids because I probably won't get them back. So I'll dig into the first bag, which is a very glittery bag. I got it in the dollar section of Target. And this bag has all of my essential sort of personal items. Things like antibacterial wipes. Next, I have some emergency essentials. This one's called a potty pack. These are great if you find yourself having to use a questionable bathroom. And then I also have a period pack, and this comes with all the things you might expect. I also have one good wipe in my bag, which is basically a shower. In this next bag, I have a few of these wisps, which are basically a travel-friendly toothbrush. You can use it anywhere, you don't need any water. And speaking of teeth, I also keep my aligners in here. Next, I have a box of my favorite press-on nails. You guys, I use these all the time, and I always like to carry some extra with me in case I lose a nail, I can just put one right back on. And then last but not least, I also carry a Tide pen, and this isn't just for clothes. Next up, I have my mini makeup bag. So I have my favorite lipstick in there, I have my eye and cheek palette, I have some makeup removing wipes, I have my favorite CC cream, which also has SPF, which is great for traveling. I have my go-to mascara, which is the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I have just a few of my travel size makeup brushes. And then last but not least, a good waterproof eyeliner. Next up, I have my liquids bag, and this is in a clear see-through bag, which is TSA approved. So in here, I have a small hand sanitizer. This is the Frosted Coconut Snowball scent. I like that one. I also have a travel-sized hand cream. I have my travel hairspray. I've got a brand new bottle of contact solution. I have an extra case for my contact lenses. And then last but not least, a little shampoo and conditioner. Just in case wherever we're staying doesn't have any. Moving on to the next compartment, so at the top of this section, I have my headphones. Now I definitely could bring a smaller set of headphones, but I really like these ones. They weren't too expensive. And then I also love to travel with magazines, and specifically I love food-related magazines. Things with new recipes or new ideas. The Pioneer Woman one is always a favorite of mine. I also love the Food Network magazine, especially around certain holidays. And then last but not least, I also keep my planner in here. Now this isn't the smallest planner, but I still love it. I use it every day. And then down at the bottom is where I keep the power cord for my computer. It just fits so nicely in there. And now that there's the tablet on there, it will definitely not get left behind anywhere. Now this section of the bag also has some other little compartments. And then this bigger one is where I keep my sequin bag. So in this bag is where I keep all of my chargers and their cords. In this bag, I have two fuel rods. I can use these to charge my phone or my camera. So I also have some extra charging cords. I also have a wall charger for my phone. I'll usually leave this one at the hotel once we get there. And then of course, I have my big power station. And this is the one that I chose to put my tablet on because this one battery can actually charge everything. This next pocket is where I put my phone when it's not in my hand, that is. It usually is in my hand. And there are several other pockets in here that for now are just empty. And then in the way back pocket, I have my laptop. And this compartment is actually made for a laptop, so there's extra padding in there, so I don't have to include my computer sleeve or anything like that. This bag is great because my computer is not really that small, and it still fits. And of course, this has a taglet on there as well because this computer is super important to me. I can't do my job without it. This is the only way I can get work done and travel at the same time. And then down at the bottom, I also have my mouse because when I'm editing photos, I definitely like to use a mouse. Okay friends, so that's everything in my mom travel bag. I know it seems like a lot, but I really like to be organized. And I know with the addition of the Adero system, that staying organized is gonna be even easier. If you'd like to learn more about Adero, you just have to visit adero.com. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.